All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duel. So I apologize for the technical difficulties on the first two episodes. Uh, like I said, I recorded with Camtasia, and Camtasia decided to make it so the secondary audio, which is the music, and the first uh, audio, which is my voice, just completely off sync, like the music was back like a minute behind, it just got off track, the sound effects, it was crap, it really was. And Camtasia, it's it's, it's, it's one of my, it's my editing software, it just, you know, yeah. so we're not recording with Camtasia this time, we're actually recording with OBS, so hopefully, you know, the same uh, program that I use to do my live stream, I could just use it to record, I don't, it doesn't have to be live stream, but uh, hopefully this will work better for our uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. So, uh, we're going to be moving on with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, so we're going to be going up against freaking Weevil here, who is going to take my piece of Exodia and throw them off a boat, I'm assuming. That's how the story's going to go down, right? So, after his win against Seto Kaiba, Yu-Gi-Oh! was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yu-Gi inserted the tape into the VCR. Woo! That's dated. <laughs> I, I received a, a tape inserted the VCR. Like, a, a what? I said it in where? <laughs> Pegasus face popped up on the television on the TV screen. I want the television screen. TV screen. Alright. <laughs> Greetings, little Yugi. I'm Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Mm. <laughs> Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I've decided to in investigate your amazing doing skills personally, right here and now. Shall we hold a special duel? I don't want to do anything with you, Pegasus. Hello? <laughs> Suddenly, strange and arcane magic froze time so that no one could move except for Yugi. <laughs> oh, and then, like I say, I don't like how they don't do anything with it. They just, just change him into the arrow. Like, okay, sure. This dark dimension, we're known as, is is known as the Shadow Realm. Mmm, alright. A mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is quite possible. <laughs> Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there is magic in these cards? <laughs> Damn, he said, don't you know, I invented this game. <laughs> I like to look on his face. I don't think I've ever seen Yugi that angry before. <laughs> like, why is he so pissed? <laughs> what if I told you I didn't? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Games. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystic duels in other dimensions just as we're doing now. I don't remember this part of the show, but it's, I mean, I've been a little reversed, but I don't remember this conversation being like this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. <laughs> the magic forces were so powerful that Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. Okay, sure. <laughs> It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. <laughs> I'm getting tired of reading. Like, I just want to play some damn Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> like, was I supposed to duel Weevil? Like, am I, if I'm going to duel against Pegasus, then let's duel, you know? <laughs> these monsters are very real, and also quite dangerous. Yu-Gi boy! There it is. <laughs> you really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sn sneer, so defiant yet helpless. And so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. This guy just call me a nigga? Look, I just call me a nigga. He call me ignorant. <laughs> Yugi looked down at the Millennium Puzzle that he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle? 5,000 years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical Millennium Items. Seven items? You're saying that my puzzle is one of them? Yeah? <laughs> Yes, and there are mystical energies locked within. Magic that could change your life forever if you knew only how to unleash it. Then, then not, I, don't I already have it unleashed? I'm, I'm, I'm Yugi right now. Like, what do you mean unleash it? <laughs> oh, and I don't even get to duel against Pegasus. It just says that I do? Okay. After two duel, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. <laughs> Freaking cheater. There's actually one time I was playing on YGL Pro and I dueled against the AI playing who was Pegasus and he played Minecraft and he called like every single time I drew a card he would just call it and I'm like how the hell do you know exactly what card like there wasn't even a card to search for anything it's Minecraft like oh right the Millennium I yep 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 yeah, that's totally fair <laughs> despite his disadvantage Yugi mustered all of his strength and nearly won but Yugi ran out of time when his time limit passed 
What was this tournament? Was this time? Judge? Judge? We went and we went to time? Like, okay. <laughs> I've taken the measure of your talents to stay, Yugi Moto. And next time we duel, we shall play for far higher stakes. I mean, we're already in the shadow room dueling. And if one of us loses, we die. So, I mean, what farther stake is it? Oh, no. He wants to take my innocence. That's it. He, he wants to take my innocence. That's much higher stakes. <laughs> they want to take Yugi's to innocence. <laughs> I'm done with your games! <laughs> I presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not. For I possess one of the seven Millennium Items, the all-powerful Millennium Eye! The Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi boy, I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I have found that, given the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my games. <laughs> the powerful Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi can only watch in horror. Yugi! <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> we will do it again, Yuki. How else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? You get no choice but to compete in Pegasus Duelist Kingdom tournament so that he could get his grandfather's soul back. At Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two star chips which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Whoever earned ten star chips entering, gained entrance to the tournament's final where they could compete for three million? Three million? And a chance to do Pegasus. Th fuck, fuck Pegasus. Three million? Bruh. Three million. <laughs> For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood. Is that what really his last name was? I don't even remember. Alright. A duelist with whom had a bit of history. <laughs> While riding the boat to Duelist Kingdom, we took Yugi's precious Exodia <laughs> cards and threw them into the ocean. Boy. Boy, you're gonna take my cards. My cards! My pieces of expensive card, boy, and throw them off the boat. Boy, you know, catch me outside. How about that? All right, <laughs> all right. We won't. I'm tired of shit. <laughs> so he spied. <laughs> so when you spied, we won't. Iron. He chased after him into the woods. <laughs> all right. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You for right into my trap. Ugh, all right. <laughs> it's time you exit for destroying my Yugi, my Exodia cards, weevil. <laughs> and then he transforms again, like. Like, it'd be cool to have, like, a cutscene or something. I mean, you probably can't do it from the show, but... <laughs> can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> no. Like, dude, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> you, 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 we're outside. You're about to catch these hands, my boy. Weevil, it's time to find out if you're good at doing as you're running away. Ooh, burn. <laughs> I was simply... <laughs> was I simply running away? Or clearly <laughs> weaving you into my web? All right, I'm getting sick and tired of these puns. Let's just do it. Yeah, it's time to do it. Seriously, it is. Nope, story deck. So I guess I can't just sack you with Exodia, but I mean, I could probably just beat you with something else. Like, if you're actually gonna try to bust out the frickin' Great Moth, I mean... Ah, uh, I'll go second. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, really, what are you gonna do to me? I'd rather get that additional draw, because I think this is updated so you won't get that card, so... Wow, now if this isn't the frickin' Yuki deck, I don't know what it is. What's this card do? Oh, alright, I just... Don't I destroy a filled spell? Card activate, destroy it, then we each type 500. Oh, fucking pot of greed, man. And then, dude, damn, Weevil, you're getting all the broken cards. All right, I see you, Weevil, I see you. Damn, did he just bust out a 1700 monster on the first turn? He's all right, sure. So, I guess I'll go ahead and activate this, pop the fill spell, then we'll both take some damage, because why not? And then I'll probably just set her, because she is that big booty. Oh, you dropped down to 15. I don't think I have anything that's 15. Nope, that's only 14. Yep, I'll set this, and then I, if, if this survives, I can set a contribute for Cursed Dragon. Next turn. So we're strong enough to attack over this killer needle. Alright. So we both take 500. Wow, he has another one. What? And then you just play this. Like, alright, sure, sure. Alright. Why, why would you just play this and leave it like that? Like... You're not that thirsty with damage, wow. I got another one. So, during each player's time I phase, we, that player takes 500, so. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and tribute summon for Curse of Dragon, and then... Well, I could do more damage with this. I'm, I don't like the idea of this possibly being stronger than my Curse of Dragon. So, I'll take a little slow. You can go ahead and turn that to defense mode during your next turn. But I wanna get rid of all of this, so. Alright, I'm done, Weevil. I'm up on resources. 
I believe we won't really has any trigger on this. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm not attacking and so it's really light, sure. I mean, it's interesting that I'm up on resources when you're the one who freaking played Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity. Like, where is my Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity? So with type monsters, Insect, Beast, Plant, and Beast Warriors. You're a fiend. You're a dragon. Like, wow. What's the beast? I guess I can gain ooh, a whopping 200. Like, mm. like I kind of want to play things, but then I don't. Like, I'm going to set this. I'm going to take it slow. I'm just going to build up resources and... and stall out until the swords go away. Like, I've never liked swords. Really. Like, you're just stalling for the sake of stalling. But um, you have less life, life, life points than me, so you'll you'll get burnt out before me. I might as well just actually play Burning Land and just burn me to death. Like, fine. We'll both just take a thousand. Like, fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. I could another one. I'll be filled spell, and then we'll be taking another. And I could guess I could dinosaur zombies and rock. Like, Okay. <laughs> Still doesn't really do anything for me. And then, he's so afraid of of Cursed Dragon that he probably doesn't want to do anything else to go into the offensive, even with swords. Like, that's probably how the computer is programmed. So, I guess I'll just burn you out. I'll just set your bugs and set the forest on fire. Which is kind of what I did. Like, I like how it's so convenient to give me Burning Land. Yep, so... Another one? Another one. <laughs> like, I'm kind of just helping we uh, He's just dead drawing all these freaking forests. So, I'm... I think, so, I'm just gonna sit here, evil. I mean, this at least this is the last turn for freaking swords, because I'm getting kind of sick and tired of just stalling out here, we will. Like, this is kind of... I don't know, at least he actually set another monster. Like, I could probably just sit here and burn him out. I could actually sit here and burn him out. <laughs> Watch him activate another sword, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, that progress, that slow progress. Oh shit, man, need a bug. <laughs> oh shit. So what does this do? Like, Cocoon of Evolution, I don't even know what this card does. Like, I, I probably at one point knew what it does, but then... Yeah. Equip it. Okay. It equipped the attack and defense of Cocoon is applied to it. Alright, so you just have really high stats now. Oh, now I get Polly. Now I get Polly. My Cursed Dragon's gone. Now I get Polly. Oh, fuck you. That's fine. I guess I'll just go on the offensive. So, let's go ahead and summon that first night. Yes. So I can tack over that 22 booty. I mean, equipping from your hand to give the... Pet Moth additional stats not terrible. It's not great either, but full on Yugi deck right now. Give my Yugi out. I guess I could activate this. So do we each get a field spell zone? I, I'm guessing this is the pendulums and all that that the oh and the drawing that we just have different field spells, right? Nah, fuck it. Mine's not activated. I don't think my field spells can destroy your field spell. Nope, it's half and half. All right, cool. All right, so. Attack man your bug. And attack that booty. A 2200 booty. Get that out of here. Alright, Leo. I'm just crushing him, like. I just may open up a pot of greed and virtual charity and still just get wrecked. Like. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So. So probably be game? Yeah, I think it's game. Or it will be game anyway. I guess I'll just summon my imp, attack with Gaia, attack, attack game. Is that game weevil? I'm not talking in this episode, oh, it's another cocoon. Alright, yep, that should be game weevil. I was easy. <laughs> I really was. Like, I thought you opened up another broken card. I thought I was going to be screwed, but. <laughs> it's over. I've won. <laughs> no! Impossible! My mouth is unbeatable! What moth? You didn't summon it. I never gave you an opportunity to, but you never summoned it. It's like, ugh, just a couple of caterpillars and cocoons, but never moth. <laughs> alright. Cards, cards, cards. Yeah, alright. Awesome. Alright. How, how do I go next? What are the controls? Next. Alright, so that's over. Uh, I could restore, but nope. 
So next time I play as Joey and I duel against the Harpy Lady. Now, does she have, like, all the Harpy Ladies that's updated ones? And do I have updated Red Eyes deck? Hmm, that'd be interesting if I did. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode of... Here with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays playing Legacy of Duels. Of course, I will be back on Thursday with a another episode. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another episode. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.